In the final episode of Shogun, it is expected that Toranaga's meticulously crafted master plan will reach its culmination. The complicated plot that has fascinated spectators throughout the series will be resolved by this highly awaited event. In the previous episode, the character Toranaga may not have a physical appearance. His influence is clear in Mariko's bravery in Osaka. In the narrative, Mariko's unwavering commitment to follow Toranaga's orders, even at the cost of her own life, introduces a layer of complexity for Ochiba no Kata, Lord Ishido, and the Council of Regents. Blackthorn is in danger. The clever Toranaga has stripped Blackthorn of his Hatamoto title, leaving him with a daunting task. He must try to discourage Mariko from her self-sacrificial intentions. Despite his best efforts, however, nothing can stop her from following her path. Blackthorn's willingness to be Mariko's seppuku second shows bravery and compassion. Mariko, devout Christian, believes that her actions have condemned her to eternal damnation due to the concept of immortal sin. In order to spare her from this perceived fate, Blackthorn selflessly offers his support and assistance. In the climactic scene, Ishido makes a dramatic entrance just in the nick of time to give his consent for Mariko to depart from Osaka. This crucial moment sets the stage for a poignant interaction between Blackthorn and Mariko as they seize the opportunity to share an intimate moment together. They lose their peace when Yabushij, a valued confidant, lets shinobi assassins into their quarters. Mariko successfully carries out her plan to sacrifice herself in Osaka, ultimately aiding Toranaga's grand strategy. Through her selfless act, she manages to rescue Blackthorn and the rest of the group from the imminent explosion. Blackthorn upsets the equilibrium of a Zen garden by drawing a line through the rippling sand, just as Mariko is about to commit seppuku. Ripples in the Zen garden symbolize movement and fluidity, much like waves do. In order to convey his lack of faith in the meaning that the sand ripples convey, Blackthorn tampers with the serenity of the Zen garden. He thinks Mariko will commit seppuku for weird reasons due to his Western background. He disrespects the Zen garden's balance to show that Mariko is acting badly out of duty and tradition in Japan. Blackthorn consistently defies the norms and traditions of feudalism in Japan. One notable instance of this is when he takes a stand after the gardener is unjustly killed for disposing of a decaying the bird in a previous episode. In this particular instance, he made a light-hearted remark about the consequences of touching the pheasant due to his Japanese proficiency issues. However, to his surprise, this comment was interpreted literally by those present. In the context of the narrative, Mariko's tragic demise, due to a comparable form of rigid adherence to traditional customs serves as a turning point for Blackthorn. This pivotal event could potentially propel him towards actively challenging the prevailing cultural norms and values. Consequently, in the climactic finale of Shogun Season 1, Blackthorn's newfound opposition to the overarching culture might lead to a significant deterioration in his relationship with Toranaga, ultimately causing him to lose favor and standing.